Hi everyone, this is Clint Simone with MotorOne.com. Uh, you joined me here in Northern California where Audi has brought us to sample some of their S-Line cars. So we have the S6, S7, and S8 that we're driving, and we'll have words up on MotorOne.com soon. But for now, I wanna bring you uh, to a brief walk around of the S7, this white one behind me, because I really like the spec and the way it looks. So let's check it out. Okay, so there's some big similarities between the S6 and the S7. The S7, as we know, is the four-door coupe, quote-unquote. Um, and if you're asking me, it looks better than the S6, which is, you know, sort of more pedestrian looking, if you will. Uh, but this is the S car. So you have the A7 is the base, and this is the middle of the range, and there will be an RS7, which we know a lot about, and will be on the road soon enough. This car in particular, there are a couple of things I wanted to point out. Uh, I mentioned I like the spec a lot, this has the black line package, the black optics package. Uh, so with that, you're gonna get the grill blacked out, the wheels, these are 21 inch wheels that are optional. The mirrors are blacked out as well. Uh, and it just looks great, especially against the white paint. This is my favorite appearance of all of the S-Line cars. Uh, you get some other cues with the S car as well. You get the quad exhaust chutes. I left the car in dynamic mode just to kind of show you that it sounds pretty good at idle as well. So you can have a listen. But the reason this one is significant as well is because this features the S Sport package. So that is basically the biggest package you can get on the S6, S7. Uh, it's not cheap, it's $4,000. But what you get with that is dynamic all wheel steering. So the rear wheels are going to aid the front wheels to get the back end of the car around. Uh, you get a Sport exhaust, which as we just heard, sounds great. The Sport rear differential, which has the ability to send power to either wheel, not just back and front between the axles, and then red brake calipers who show everybody that you mean business. We've seen the cabin in the, you know, the base A6 and A7, uh, so nothing too new in here. But in the S car, things look just a bit different. And you can basically option your A6 or your A7 to look just like this. Um, but this one in particular has these really good looking red seats, um, look nice against the white paint as well. And then as we get into here, it's Audi's newest generation of the MMI system. So that's found in the Q8 and then a bunch of other Audi products as well. Um, and there's a couple things I like, mainly with the, the drive selector. If you go into the individual mode, there are a lot of ways to set up the car exactly how you want it. Uh, so you have the chassis, you have the suspension, the steering, the engine sound. I love that the difference is present, automatic, or quiet. Um, as you're driving it, the car actually is pretty quiet below 4,000 RPM. Uh, and then after 4,000, it, it really wakes up. And, and this V6 sounds phenomenal. Uh, on the upshifts, you get these wonderful pops and crackles. Not much on the downshifts, but especially when you put the engine note in that present mode, you get a lot. And then of course, there's a, a dynamic mode as well with the drive select. So a lot of different ways you can set up the car. Um, comfort, automatic, where it'll change it on its own, dynamic, individual. Um, the other thing with this specific car, because it's specced with a lot of the safety equipment that you can get on Audis now that I like, is they take this button right here, which <laughs> lets you set your driver assistance systems. But I appreciate the fact that there's an individual mode because in some cars, the systems are very sensitive. Um, so you might not want lane keep assist on all the time. If that really bothers you, this individual profile allows you to turn off specific safety systems in the car. Virtual cockpit is still here and it's as great as ever, uh, especially in this latest generation. It's awesome. You can have Apple CarPlay over here and then use all of the native systems as well. Uh, the way Audi makes these two screens interact with each other is some of the best in the industry for sure and then like some of the other higher end cars like the q8 um, we get the digital display down here for the climate controls the seat functions and some of the things like that other than that um, there's this really nice ash wood trim and then a lot of color contrasting material so the dash is dark up against the red seats so thanks for joining me on a quick tour of some of the details on this 2020 audi s7